Sustainer, DIY Tips Guitar Variables From the last video that I did, I came out with a new concept for a driver. As it turned out, my new sustainer setup worked very well on my guitar. Especially on the high E strings, the sustain was quite stable and strong both in fundamental and harmonic modes. However, although you may have successfully completed your sustainers and works very well on your guitar, it may not necessarily perform as well on another. This is because our guitars are different from one another. Each has its own setup. Specification And configuration. And this variable somehow has an effect on how well your sustainers would perform on your guitars. Some of these variables are String materials While most people pick their strings based on brands We sustainer builders must also consider the string material In this experiment, I used two strings with the same gauge but of different materials See how it reacts to the magnet the first string responds well by being first to be pulled and the last to be released by the magnet, while the second string does not respond as well. As you can see, the first string has very good magnetic properties. These strings are described with bright, crisp, and edgy tones. And since our driver is dependent on magnetic field to vibrate the string, Stainless steel string materials would be the best choice for our sustainers. The second variable is, string distance. The best way for guitar players to achieve optimum sustain is by raising their drivers closest to the strings. This way, drivers can get a better grasp of the string to vibrate it, especially on the thin strings. It would also help to keep the distance between the bridge pickup and strings to a minimum as well, since the closer the pickup is, the stronger the signal you send to your driver, thus the stronger the sustain. For string adjustments, lower your driver and pickups first, then press the highest fret on the string and raise both your driver and pickup until it touches the string, then slowly back it up until the driver and pickups are clear of the strings while vibrating. This is the simplest way to get the minimum string distance on your guitar to achieve the strongest sustain. The third variable is, bridge pickup. Your sustainer system is dependent on the quality of the signal it is receiving. The better the signal, the stronger your sustain. Therefore it would be best to have a high output pickup in your system. Better yet, a high output humbucker pickup. Most sustainer DIY builders I've seen made use of a humbucker bridge pickup to come up with a strong signal for the sustainer. Might as well invest in one if you're still into single coils. One other factor also to be considered is the volume adjustments of your guitar. Remember that the bridge pickup signal is being shared by two circuits. One is your sustainer amp. And the other is the guitar amp, 
where your guitar is plugged into. At full volume on the guitar, greater signal is being routed from the bridge pickup past the volume pot and onto the guitar amp, thereby reducing the signal being pulled by your sustainer amp. In my setup, I find that 75% to 80% volume is the optimal settings where my sustainer can achieve best results. It reduces the signal being routed to the guitar amp, thereby increasing the signal being pulled by the sustainer amp. To compensate for the loss of volume, I simply adjust the volume on the guitar amp itself. Please watch out for more of my sustainer tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe.